A new report shows only 55% of Canadians are satisfied with the way government is run in this country. Not helping the situation, the fact provincial parliaments are often sitting idle. In B.C., members of that province's legislature will likely have only sat in the House 19 days in the last calendar year. That's before the next election expected this spring. And on the opposite end of the country, the legislature in Newfoundland and Labrador sat for just 33 days in the last session. As our Ottawa Bureau Chief Jacques Brabeau tells us, Canadians also say there's a disconnect between issues that matter to them and ones taken up by their politicians. His leader said, quote, I have proposed the Inside the House of Commons, 308 MPs are supposed to give voice to the concerns of 34 million Canadians. But a soon-to-be-released study shows most Canadians aren't buying this theory. Only 27% believe Ottawa deals with the issues they think are important. Although the study shows MPs are doing a bit better than that. For example, in 2012, Canadians ranked the economy as their number one issue and it was the second most talked about subject in Parliament. However, social programs were number three in Canadians' top concerns, but they weren't even in the top eight issues debated by MPs. Some really interesting observations on how uh, party control and party discipline might be affecting the ability of the House of Commons to reflect Canadians' priorities. A journalist who regularly watches the House of Commons told the West Bloc with Tom Clark, MPs listen more to their party than their constituents. MPs are so beholden to their party leaders that we've sort of lost touch with any other purpose they have. They're all sort of messengers. Uh, and foot soldiers for their parties. The coalition of rail shippers asked for a clear... Dis a lot of Parliament's time is taken up with debates, but even if they are airing Canadians' concerns, a whiff of pointlessness often surrounds the proceedings. The debate itself can be fairly smart and interesting, but it doesn't matter, and everybody understands it doesn't matter, because ultimately nothing that gets said in that House of Commons is going to change what the outcome of that vote is. And the same can be said of Canadians' concerns, as much as they believe Parliament is becoming irrelevant, it doesn't seem to change the way business is done in the nation's capital. Chopper Boat, Global News, Ottawa.